Hey guys, welcome to another episode of SHOT Show 2019 TFBTV coverage. I'm here with Scott from Accuracy International. Scott, thank you so much for coming out today. Miles, it's great to see you again. And it's great to see you. Every year I come here and I'm constantly amazed and constantly pleased to see how Accuracy International is doing. So let's see what's happening for 2019 this year. So our main R&D project for 2019 was the ASR weapon that we developed for the SOCOM ASR solicitation and so the rifle we have here is the end result of that effort and of course a full deployment kit is behind you uh, so that that was a big focus of R&D it's a massive engineering effort um, while the gun looks similar to the AXMC it shares almost no common parts with it Okay, so let's dive in. Why, what's the difference? Everyone wants to know, what, what does AI change? What's the big deal? Yeah. So a number of the changes were driven by the performance specification. Uh, the end user wanted the uh, MLOC uh, interface architecture. So uh, instead of key slot, you see the, you know, the MLOC uh, rail interface here. It also runs along the bottom and back at the butt. Um, a big departure for AR, AI is we went with uh, AR style hand grip on this gun. Unprecedented, really. Uh, yeah, yeah it's rifles, a, a big right? departure. People kind of associate us with a split uh, molded plastic uh, grips and stock interface. And yeah. um, we tested a lot of different grips. We selected the Ergo. Uh, if you look closely at this, because it's a precision rifle, we oriented the grip interface uh, 10 degrees to give the grip a nice vertical orientation and we've had a lot of positive feedback on that feature at the show. Uh, we also thinned out the, the center section right here for the guys that want to shoot side hand. Uh, we still have the adjustable trigger shoe as a carryover from the MC. Um, and then the safety as well, two position, yeah, three position, uh, right? Yeah, two position safety. The safety is ambidextrous. I'm operating it from an identical lever on the left side of the gun. And this was also in response to the P-Spec. Uh, for other markets and other customers, we can still fit our classic three position safety on the firing pin shroud. Okay. So, um, this gun, uh, like the MC, it's a multi-caliber rifle. The, the user can change a barrel in about a minute uh, just using a simple uh, four millimeter hex tool, untorque the clamp, spin it out by hand, install you know, a new barrel and a different cartridge. Uh, right now, this gun is configured as a 7.62, and we have a 7.62 magazine. I like this um, a lot. You're making one magazine with multiple, with different inserts, essentially. Yeah, so the previous design, in order to run 7.62, uh, we had built a magazine adapter that went in this large aperture, and then it ran the small magazine from the AX308, and this time, it just, uh, Feedback from the end user guided us in this direction to make a, a magazine for the 7.62 that was native to the aperture without using a, an adapter. Okay. So that's also uh, tested very, very well. Yeah. But you haven't touched on the uh, the really right stuff part. That yeah, yeah. So that that's the other biggie, and this. Uh, as you know, in, in the sniping and tactical world, tripods are here and they are the future. And we, uh, we took the initiative to go ahead and design the interface into the rifle. We, we had the, all the debate about do we add an accessory adapter plate or do we design it in? In the end, we decided to, to just machine it and design it into the rifle because we, we can we can do a cleaner job. It can be lighter, simpler, and stronger, uh, and and it also gives us better control over the interface. Really, right stuff publishes uh, a standard for this interface that has tight dimensional control, and that ensures that a cam clamp is always going to grip that rail effectively. Uh, if you deviate from that, you can get some of the third-party rails that will either be loose or you can't lock them down. So, had a great relationship with the people that really write stuff, and they've 
uh, really worked with us and making sure this turned out well. Because that's a big jump to go from the Picatinny to the RRS stuff, um, you know, for one particular thing. Yeah. Like maybe this yeah. is the future right here. So, so oddly enough, this particular clamp will also lock onto a Picatinny rail. Uh, you, you could, for example, move this rail down here and still grip a pick rail. So uh, by having the RRS interface, we, we're really giving the user better options. We're not restricting them. For, for units that are committed to pick rail, it's all there. Yeah. Uh, th this just gives them a, another path to add uh, stability and support to the rifle system. Uh, we also did surfacing here and here for barricade support, a, as you know from competition. Uh, you know, we don't, we rarely get to shoot comfortably nice, prone off of a, tri a bipod, yeah. right. Yeah. So, you know, we often find ourselves having to shoot from improvised positions and so we have both a nice flat surface and then these very hard stops to push into solid barricade. Um, it's a result of a lot of feedback we got from guys that use our guns in competition and professionals that use our guns as a duty weapon. Outstanding. Well, Scott, thank you so much for everything we've talked about today. Really appreciate it. Miles, great to see you again. You too, and we wish you the best of luck with the ASR competition as well. Thank you so much. Cool. Okay.